Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, you can kind of tell by the title that my intention of the video was pure and the end result wasn't very like good. Before I explain, please feel free to hit the subscribe button for my channel. Help me get to double digits before the end of the month. Wow, just to get 10 would just be great. <laughs> hit the bell to be notified of my future videos. I'm here Wednesdays and Sundays, the week right before Christmas. I had this idea you know, watching YouTubers, my favorite YouTubers all the time, like with different video ideas. I'm like, let me try something and let's see how it goes. Um, influencer picks my makeup. Now I kind of got this idea. Honestly, I never saw completely honest. I've never seen a YouTuber in the videos I've watched do influencer picks my makeup. I've seen celebrity picks my makeup. So I figured there was a better chance of me hearing from an influencer, hopefully, than a celebrity. Cause, because my God, like who, what celebrity would respond to me? Just FYI, I have like 179 Instagram followers. I don't have any verified accounts that follow me. So you can already see how this is gonna go. I thought, let me just message, do an Instagram message across the board, hey, love your makeup looks and it was to the influencers that i've watched that some i respect honestly some is up in the air but all in all makeup is makeup at the end of the day and i love the looks of every single person that i messaged i tried kylie jenner which i must be <laughs> that i even messaged her but whatever still glamorous tachi westbrook which if you can't tell by this lovely picture back here. I'm clearly obsessed with her and her channel. Babs Beauty, Nikki Tutorials, Manny MUA, Jeffree Star. I love Jeffree Star. Huda Katan, Tana Mojo. Tana Mojo is freaking hysterical. Like, I honestly just got introduced to her with the whole like series talking about the Tanicon shade and I was like what is Tanicon went on Shane Dawson's channel found out a whole, the whole Tanicon thing then started watching her videos and was like she's freaking hysterical why haven't I watched her sooner so she's hysterical Kelly Strack love her James Charles Laura Lee and Nicole Concilio it was literally the next day I was at work and my jaw like dropped Nicole Concilio was the only influencer that messaged me back. Now, the other ones didn't even read my message. Like, I'm sure my message got, like, thrown to the bottom of the barrel, depending on the time that I messaged, whatever. But Nicole Concilio, I've been following her for, like, two years now. I love her music. I watch all her videos every day. I've messaged her back and forth before about her anxiety, about her music, about her dogs. So I was really, really excited when she messaged me back. So her response to me, and I'll put all the screen prints up on the screen. I'll be that YouTuber just so you know that I'm not lying. She messaged me back and she said, oh, I'd love to help. What eyeshadows do you have? So I responded to let her know what you know, obviously I was like, oh my God, you messaged me. And I told her what eyeshadows I had. Um, and then there was no response, right? So obviously I'm in anticipation, like, oh my God, oh my God, please message me back, please, 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 I beg you, I beg you. And nothing. So then on December 21st, she posted something about something wrong with her dog. And I messaged her back and I said, thank the heavens, because I think she had just updated that her dog was doing good. So she responds back with two emojis and I'm like, oh God, please get your response. So like a stalker excited person I am, I'm like, let me message her again. Like, hey, if you can, let me know about that makeup. You know, I know you're worried about your dog right now. No response. So then I had to add to it, right? And I had to message again. Then she finally responded very early 
on, I believe it was December 23rd. So I think it was like the weekend and I'm dying inside. And she responds and says, Tati Beauty with exclamation point. And I'm like, yes. But then I'm like, no, I was under the impression it was going to be like, you tell me what makeup to get and then I'll go get it and do my face. I'd never done this before and I'm pretty sure the one that I saw, I've only watched one celebrity picks my makeup, but the one that I saw, they like said to go get the makeup, I think. I messaged back and I'm like, oh man, anything else? You know, I would love if you could pick a full face of makeup. And then she responds and says, are you wanting to go out and buy more makeup, love? Sorry, I thought you wanted to use what you had. That was December 24th. That's Christmas Eve in the morning. And I did my absolute best. I'm not even going to show the rest of my messages to her because my best friend was telling me, don't message her back. Don't message her anymore. Don't message her anymore until she responds to you. And I'm like, yeah, but maybe if I slide in and I'm like, oh my God, Merry Christmas Eve. Like, Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, your, your hair looks so pretty. Maybe she'll remember, but... It didn't happen. I'm actually really grateful that she even responded to me because again, out of all the influencers I've messaged, she was the only one that read my message and responded to my message. So I can at least be grateful for that. Starting from the bottom sucks, anybody can tell you, but I am actually grateful that she did actually respond to me. So I figured what I would do in this video, since I don't have a juicy, ooh, influencer pick this foundation and this primer and this, why not do her recommendation, the Tati Beauty palette, follow her tutorial that she did when she received the Tati Beauty palette and go from there. I can guarantee you, guarantee you, I will not have 99% of the products she uses in her video. So I will use what I have, just do her techniques, see if I can pull off the same look and we'll go from there. I can't do the fancy put her video up on mine because I had, don't have a camera yet. I don't have software yet. So I will just play, you'll hear her hilarious ass Italian voice. And I will just follow her tutorial, pause where I need to, and let's get started. I already took the makeup off my face from my work day today with all my wipes. I'm gonna actually go into this rose water facial mist from Ulta as well. And this is really actually amazing with the cleanser that I use. So I have not yet spritzed that. And then honestly, while it's still kind of damp, I go in with this Revolution Skincare London Nourish Boost CBD Rich Nourishing Cream that I got from Ulta as well. And I don't really rub it in all the way just yet because I kind of like letting my creams like air dry. So let's play her. The Hourglass Brow Gel. This is the Arch Fiber Thingy Majig, and I'm just gonna be going up and brushing my brow hairs upwards. So we don't have that. I have two brow gels I could use. I have the Essence Make Me Brow that I got from my clearance Ulta Splurge, and this Brow Bar Gel that I got with the powder. So. This one says filling in fibers, and she said she had one with fibers, so we're going to go with this one. This is in the shade Brownie Brows, I believe. Yes, it is. <laughs> they kind of look a little jacked. <sighs> Let's get started on the eyes. <gasps> Not sure where she's going next, but let's see. I'm going in with the P. Louise Beach Beach Base with Mitchell, and this is in the shade called Blank Canvas. And I'm going in with my Morphe M224 brush. All right, so she's using again two things I don't have. I don't have any Morphe brushes, and I don't have definitely don't have P. Louise. I think it's either concealer or specifically eyeshadow primer. This um. Elf 16 hour camo concealer. I feel like it's 
has the same consistency of the P. Louie, at least is what it looks like on her video. So I'm gonna take an unknown brush. Take it on the brush. I'm blind, so just bear with me. Don't worry, it seems a lot brighter, but I will make it work. I feel like this is hella, hella, hella lighter than what she did. This is in the shade Medium Sand. So we're going to make it work. So I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. And I see she takes the beauty blender to blend it out a little bit more. Moving on. Suck it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you guys. Let's do like a classic cut crease. Let's have fun today. So usually when I do those, I use really oh, tiny brushes like boy, this. Oh boy, I've never and done a cut crease. I'm going crease. to start in the matte shade. We're going with Poet. And then I guess I would say in the sequin shade, we're going in the poet. It was basically just kind of outline the shape of my eye. Here she is in all her glory. All right, this brush should work. So I'm going to do what she said. I'm going to go into that. I'm going to go into this matte poet. In the shape of her eye. This is crazy because I've never done a cut crease before. Oh my god. A little sloppy on me here. And doing looks like this require lots of freaking patience. So if you don't have time or patience, I don't suggest doing it. it this is triggering for me right now because I know it's going to take me a long time. I honestly remember watching Nicole do these videos with cut creases and... I remember her saying how long this takes, and I am not up for this. I feel like this wing looks so bad, though. Oh, my God. I feel like they look different. And then she said to take a clean brush and feather out the edges a little bit of a buffer zone i guess you could say from my brow to the red i'm not ready i think i may need to go like up a little bit more i don't know how she got that wing to look like that oh my god i'm about to have my wing like to my freaking ears at this point so maybe if i bring it higher and then I buff that out. Uh, I think it's right here. So I think, yeah. So I think I don't need to go so deep in there, maybe. We're gonna keep it low key, keep it softly spoken, with no strings tying you to me. My left eye was giving me problems, and then now when I'm blending it out, the left eye looks better. <sighs> Let's move on. The shade Soothe in the matte collection, and actually tap on a little bit of Aura in the matte collection as well, and just pop that up on top. And this is the Morphe M422. And so now Take the matte Soothe with some matte Aura. Why does that look so much darker than what she just did? I'm going to be honest and just say that I'm really messing this up, but let's keep going. Is go back in with the shade Poet on the matte side and <clears throat> go in the crease even more. And just like continue to define this crease moment. And kind of more and then feather out. To add a little bit more intensity, I'm actually going to go in with the black shade, which is Memory in the mattes. The Memory in matte black. Let's see if I can just 
Going in again with the M -M 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 Mitchell and P. Louise base, the blank canvas, and just outlining. She said this is where the look really comes together. She said. It doesn't look awful. I can see like what she meant, like cleaning it all the way up. Okay, for my first time doing a cut crease, mm, I think I did okay. Mm. All right, so let me spend 10 hours doing the other eye and I'll be right back. What's next? Oh, it row and use the glitter on the ends. Thank and God. I'm gonna do that with oh, we're going in with this glitter poet. Oh my God, it's so pretty. thing that I can't really stand about these glitters is they really get everywhere now it didn't seem like that when I first got the palette but it seems like over time I'm not really sure what happens and then I've done her trick where she's like just dust them off and it doesn't really work like you see me dusting, right? It's literally just dragging it, like. And I want to show you guys this part. I take a makeup wipe and kind of clean it up like that. Okay, R.I.P. Wings. This one's like kind. Of, I'm just. I can't. I'm just fucking. I tried. Any lashes? So I don't have lashes. So let me just get right to liner. I'm gonna use. I love how I like, tried to be organized this morning for my video and I can't find anything. I'm going to use this Scone Insanely Intense Tattooed Eyeliner in Jet Black. So let's see. Okay. Shit. She didn't do hers. That like, whatever. She didn't do hers this big, damn it. <sighs> and then it's like, what's the purpose of the... The glitter is great. What's the point of the glitter is going to be this big? I have like two different wings going on. I can't win with this look right now. And finish the rest of my makeup off camera. Okay, so I actually totally forgot. I thought she did her full face on camera. I'm already in, let's just go for it. All right, so to prime my face, I use two primers. I use the Hydrating Face Primer from Ulta. Get my face out first. So I'm gonna do that really quick. I use that much. This one I've been using for a little bit and I feel like it really works for my skin. Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I'm actually not even gonna lie, I used Elf products for a while. Not like foundations or full face or anything. And I actually got this product after I watched Every Star. Then I go into the Elf Flawless found Finish Foundation in the shade Nude. Realizing my phone, I have to do that because it's just not going to work. I'm just going to put it on my Real Techniques Beauty Blender here and... stretch it to the ear I got from Nicole neck I got from Nicole it's so funny I'm literally not even gonna lie I think I started following her when she was on Kylie Cosmetics story for like the holiday collection that year I think it was 2017 
Or maybe it was 2018 and I'm like, wait, I don't know, I can't remember. Concealer. I've normally been mixing two, but I'm just going to take the same camo concealer we've been using and do the under eye here, here, and here. You know what? I am going to mix it. I'm also going to take the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Sand Beige, and I'm just going to kind of dot like underneath where I just put this camo concealer because this camo concealer I have to say is like super thick and I really don't want to look like Casper the Friendly Ghost honestly. What's really crazy is I actually the thing that scared me the most with like starting to do full face makeup was contouring and I actually feel like I'm getting better. I was watching a Jeffree Star, um, Jeffree Star following Tana Mojo tutorial where she was like dragging the brush down her skin and it was just, that whole video was just so funny. I think I've been liking a little bit of a lighter under eye, honestly. I'm going to set with this sheer tint finishing powder from e.l.f. in the shade Fair Light. And I'm just going to scoop my beauty blender in there and go right underneath. Now, honestly, because I'm new to using powders, I have yet to even, like, really be like, oh my god, I see such a difference when I set my under eyes. I have been contouring lately with the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I'm going to take this BoxyCharm brush here and blend it. Yeah, I've really only been doing, like, full face makeup for the past couple months so I don't know still learning I don't really have help honestly aside from YouTube videos and that's pretty much all I've really been using to learn how to do everything I mean YouTube what you want to learn and you will find that. Imagine I was like, I look so good right now. I don't know. Does that look good? I feel like that looks decent. But I'm also not going to be watching this video. Well, let me not lie. I'm going to be watching this video and editing. So I can't redo it. This looks great. Got the face. Um, This Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. I got this recommendation from Tati when she was talking about all of her loose powders. Because I never had a loose powder. I think I tried baking and I think with my dry skin baking is probably not the best thing for me since I still haven't found my correct like combination of products yet. Really don't think I should be like making it drier, you know? Man, blind at the monitor, this looks amazing. <laughs> this looks so good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter. Looks like that. That's probably my favorite part of highlighters, the nose. Cupid bow. Chin. I still don't even feel like I do my cheeks good yet. Where you put it? I don't know. I think so. Blush, I'm gonna use Phase Zero Makeup Blusher. Making moves. 
And it's so confusing if you're new to doing blush. You have all types of different ways to do it. Just the apples of your cheeks all the way up. And I've been liking the all the way up vibe, but this is too bright for me. I can see that without my glasses. Last but not friggin' least with this face, I'm going to be using the Matte Magic Mist and Set Elf setting spray. I don't know if you're supposed to do this after the lower lash line, but let's find out. The time for the lower lash line. Oh, she put a, she put a like mauled lip. Bucket of lips. The Betty Boop by Ipsy lipstick in the shade Mauled It Baby. The mauled kind of color in the poet section. I did like my own thing down here, winging it out. Oh my lord, I was an accident. And I don't have lashes. I just honestly haven't messed around with them. When I got some Lily lashes with my Boxy Charm box, I gave it to my best friend's stepdaughter because she loves lashes. And yeah. My clearance find from Ulta the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara in. It doesn't say it on the packaging. I believe it's jet black. Okay, it doesn't look terrible. Like in the monitor, like, oh, shit, I did that. Oh. It doesn't even look, look like I did a cut crease. It literally looks like I just put some pink in my crease and then smack some glitter on and eyeliner and called it a day. But I think it was pretty cool that I followed somebody who I've actually an influencer that I've been following for such a long time that actually responds to messages. Anybody watching this, Nicole Concilio actually reads and messages you back. She never like actually got back to me about like what full face of products I should use and go out and buy, but she did say something and that's what this video is it's a fail but it's also a gain because you guys gained this girl like doing a tutorial on her channel for the first time like what i will see you next time bye bye girl comment below like what how how do you think i did like my first ever cut crease on like ever like how do you think i did like i don't know um again on camera i'm like whoa like nicole came over and did this and then i'm looking up close and i'm like whoa i have no eyebrows <laughs> like Anyway, all right, again, be sure to subscribe, comment down below. I really would like to hear what you guys thought of my video today because this was pretty fun. And be sure to ring the bell for future videos again here Wednesday and Sunday. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.